American sprinter Shakari Richardson who won the women's 100 meter at the U.S. trials last month has tested positive for marijuana, according to Reuters and the New York Times, a result that would automatically disqualify the gold medal contender from taking part in next month's Olympic Games in Tokyo. The 21-year-old's reported suspension is a major blow to the U.S. track team as Richardson was considered a genuine gold medal contender and was expected to be one of the breakout stars of the Tokyo Games. An American woman has not won the 100-meter gold at the Olympics since Gail Devers' victory in the Atlanta 1996 Games. Richardson had put up a dominant show at Olympic qualifiers last month, blowing away her competition with a 10.64 seconds time in the semis and 10.86 seconds in the finals. Her semi-final performance put her just 0.01 seconds behind, the fastest woman alive, and two-time Olympic gold medalist Jamaica's Shelley Ann Fraser Price. The punishment for testing positive for marijuana can go up to a two-year-long suspension. The minimum suspension length is 30 days if an athlete can prove their marijuana use was unrelated to sports performance and they agree to take a substance abuse treatment program. If Richardson's ban is backdated to the day she tested positive, she may be cleared to compete in the women's 4x100 meter relay competition if she is selected by the USATF. Regardless of her ban's end date, Richardson will not be able to participate in the 100m sprint as her qualifying performance would have been wiped off the books. Shakari Richardson, a track sensation, tests positive for marijuana, New York Times. U.S. sprinter Richardson tests positive for cannabis, could miss Olympics, sources, Reuters.